Hello everyone, let me just find the video. Second, folks. How is everyone today? Tonight we're going to do a refresher on watercolor pencils, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. Thinking about doing a simple turtle. In one second, it would have helped if I was signed into my account. Fun fact, when I went to the hairdresser this afternoon, or this morning, to get my hair done, um, I learnt that I have a lot more greys than what I thought I did. And that my blonde streaks are now grey streaks. But that's okay. Just means that I'm very wise. Probably not. Hello, Pam. Right. I've got paper towel. Oh. Oh, here. Just use this instead of paper towel. Yeah, we'll use your thing. And I've got my mini salt pile here if we're going to do some experimenting. Yeah, we're just doing basics. Okay, please. right. We'll put the salt for next week. We've had it there for a week. It can sit there for another week. Something never goes off. And the ants don't go near it. How I die. Right. Um, let's get started. Uh, this is on Facebook and YouTube. So depending on what you oh like to watch, you can go if over. If you pay your postage on your order, please don't buy a please post my orders. Because then you pay postage twice. We will handle that. Moment. Yep, tomorrow we're going to be ringing that lady. You'll be fine. Extra freebies. Right, here we go. And we're just, so we're going to make a simple turtle. So a simple turtle is an oval. Uh, no, no, let's see the end. That'll be all good. And this is our head. Do we have the actual one? So oval, over oval, over oval. So we're just doing a watercolour refresher. So here's here's one of our simple turtles. So we're making our own simple turtle tonight. We're filling the whole page. None of oh, this. We were going to make something that they could cut out as an embellishment too. But definitely cut it out as an embellishment. Make it smaller. Yeah. Or you could cut this out and you could do it as your photo in the middle. Right, and then here we go. So we're drawing our legs, which our legs are two upside down J's connected by a U. See? J, J, U. That might be easier. You can see your J's then. It's the same for this one here. It's like bubble writing. Oh, hello, Raquel. Oh, cool beans. YouTube does have better colour, so that's why we do it on YouTube as well. And I know some places, in, some people's internet does not work well with things. So we're just doing two half circles up here for our eyes. Done quite a flat head. And then let's come in and do our border for our inside our shell. And that's another oval, like I said. Pretty easy. Hello, Mir. So we're just coming in and we got, and I'm going to fill it with our grid. Now you could rule this up and be very specific. I ain't too worried, as you can probably tell. You want to kind of do these light. But yes, I went to the hairdresser today, found out that I have a lot more grey hairs than what I originally thought I did. But as I was telling my mum, it just makes me more wise, more mature. Hi, Diana. Oh. 
I can see YouTube comments as well. They are just a little bit slower than the Facebook ones. So then, coming in. I never thought we'd be teaching online classes that long to be actually able to tell you what the benefits of each program was. But after nearly four years, this will be the fourth year of us teaching classes. Um, I can successfully say that I could give you a pretty rough estimate of what ones are the better ones. Right, and let's go about our favourite paintbrush when we're nice and comfortable when painting, if we can find it in the pile. Oh, this is why I don't normally pile my paintbrushes up. No, no, yes, there it is. Yeah. Still grey at 19. Well, there you go. Hello, Rosie. Um, right, let's start. So we're going to, this is our turtle. He's pretty basic. Like you saw. hold it up on a regular basis so we can see it. Do you want the sound effects of it? No, okay. I don't need sound okay. Oh, that seems like you're going for like a bit of sea legs there. Sorry. Right, let's get going. So, what are we? What colors are we going to paint our tails? I've got our Montmartre um, watercolor pencils here. I just removed one pencil because it wasn't actually a watercolor pencil, and I don't know how it ended up in the pile. But I'm thinking yellow, because why not? Blue. What's? I'm gonna do blue for my ocean around it where you guys think of some turtle colors and then you can tell me what color you think our turtle should be i'm set the tv i had in my bedroom my bathroom. that is so smart raquel it's like excellent one smart right so we're just coming in and we're coloring in around a turtle it doesn't have to be precise, you just don't have to, you just don't go over the line, see? And it's not too hard, you want to go nice and softly, softly. If you go really hard, you're always going to be able to see where you drew the pencil down. This is so then the watercolour gets removed. Well, the, the pen strokes get removed. So we're just coming in, like colouring in on all sides. And a bit of more colour in there. Trying to see where I drew that other arm. There it is. It was another very hot day here in Gladstone. My castle does not have aircon. I'm kind of regretting my decision not to fix it. But um, I'm holding firm as I only have another month left of summer to go and then we're in autumn, which is basically no difference in Gladstone, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. All right, so there we go. So we've coloured all around our turtle in our sea blue. Now, I think... I probably want to go with a little bit of a gradient, a bit of a purple maybe coming in from our edges. So I've just grabbed my purple and before we wet it, we add in that colour that we want to blend with. This means that the watercolour is going to do the blending for you and you don't have to worry about it. Which is super helpful, super helpful, super nice. Just makes it really pop. Here we go. And now let's come on. So we're going to grab our paintbrush and our water tops. We're just going to dunk our paintbrush in, dab it on either our cloth nappy or a piece of paper towel. That is just so then it doesn't. Um, you don't accidentally overwet your page, which can happen, and then you start blending. 
and just moves and when your brush starts to feel dry like as you can see my brush is starting to feel dry because it's taken a lot of pigment on they come in do that again dab go over here you don't have to scrape it along the rim of your water tub um you just have to dab it on a piece of paper towel or cloth nappy just something that absorbs a little bit of the water We're running out of water again. Dab. And they're coming in there. I'm just working that pencil so that it removes itself as you go around. That's it. Just removing, removing. Oh, removing. So you can't see where that pencil was and see how this bit here is dried here because it's already because it's that hot you can come and do so you can just blend it in so you can blend over top and there we go Here again. And because, so see, see how this bit here is wet here now, we're not going to come and do some watercolour right here now. Because then our two colours would mix and if you put like say orange here right now, because of the purple and the blue, it would, um, it wouldn't stay its true colour. And if you want it to stay its true colour, like orange, you would want it, um, you'd have to let it dry first. In and around. So just really making sure that we get all those little bits. And it's okay if you miss something because remember, you can just come back through a little bit more water and it continues to move. If that doesn't work, let it. Leave it to dry or dry it with a heat tool. Leaving it to dry naturally is better though, just as a heads up. And then come back in in about an hour or so and add some more. And to forget about the potential mistake you've made or the thing that's bugging you, have a snack or a cup of tea or go and watch a movie or start a new project. That's what I normally do. Um, no, I forget about nearly entirely and I'm like, oh, better finish that. Have we come up with any turtle colours yet? That's my question. What colour pencils work on canvas? Um, you have to um, paint the canvas first with gesso and then they work perfectly fine. You've just got to prime the canvas, that's all. That's it priming the canvas and then it works perfectly 
Uh, maybe use cookie colours, moss green, mustard for the shell, grey. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we can use yellows um, and grey blues for the turtle body. Oh, okay. We could definitely do something like that. Use cookie cutters. And hello, Debbie. And um, I'm sorry, I will butcher your name if I try and pronounce it. The person who has lost them, Kennedy. Uh, truly sorry. I uh, cannot pronounce half the names that I see. So, hello, everyone. Okay, let's have a go at our turtle. So, we're going with yellow as Diana suggested, and some greens. Um, we've got this mustardy type brown here. It's called Yellow Ochre in our set. Now, as you can see, I've got two different types of Montmartre watercolour pencils. They're actually not two different types. Uh, uh, Montmartre is a big, massive art brand. Well, they're a big Australian art brand. They're not massively massive. They are mostly Australian. Um, and... Obviously, they do rebranding every one to two years. Well, that's okay, Karis. And so they change what their watercolor pencils look like. But they are still the same leads. They still blend together nicely. If you buy another set now because your other set is growing very small. Um, growing very small. You can... Um, they will still overlap. That's perfectly fine. Um, it's just that, yep, they change the the branding on them every so often. Um, it's why Mum and I have two different sets of, like, so, for example, this was a branding stage of Montmartre. This was a branding stage of Montmartre. Um, they have a grey set. They have a blue set. Uh, an orange, red... They, they, they change the colours up every few years. So um, it's not essentially that it's a new product or that it's different. It's just that they've decided to change the look of it a little bit. And it still works on the basic levels. Um, it does get a little bit confusing when it happens, but it's, you get used to it, kind of. 50-50. Okay, let's go. So let's come in and do our... Turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. So we've got these two greens and this the um oak yellow here. So what I'm gonna do is I think if we come in, let's draw the lighter colour first, which will be this light green. So I've got another pencil of it. And what we're going to do, let me get the other one that's a bit sharper. It's the same colour. As you can see, look, same colour. Different light sense. We're going to do our light green first. And we might do four of these at a time. So we're going to come up and we're just going to make sure that none of these four are going to be touching. That is That is key. This one up here as well. Right. So we've left a massive gap in the middle as you can see in our areas because these colours are quite good to see that. And we're going to put our yellow oak in the middle. them with our dark green so we're just sending up sending it up to blend really nicely obviously we um well i do not like when my darks um overshadow my light colors so i'm going to make sure i only put a thin line of my dark green around my line 
So then the cooler because these more blunt watercolor pencils are just excellent. They work amazingly well. And very kid safe too. So we use them with all of our kid classes. And we've never had a problem with them. Right. Let's show you. So as you can see, we've got these bits here now with our three layers. And oh we did six. Oh even numbers. Okay, we'll handle that in a minute. If this works, we might do the whole shell as like it. Okay. So we just come in, dunk our paintbrush in, dab it on the paper towel. And depending on what you want your main colour to be on here, it depends on which way you want to go. So I do want my main colour to be kind of the lime green. So I'm going to work my lime green into my dark. And blend it out as we go. I, I'm not going to touch the brown, the yellow oak just yet. And that's just because the colour that you start watering first will most likely be the colour that the base of your section will be when you come in and do it. And then let's just blend out our yellow oak. So see? Quite nice. Whereas, for example, if we did our yellow oak first, like here, and then come in and did our greens, because we already have that yellow oak on our paintbrush, we do lose. that light green. We get more of a darky brownie green. So it just depend, depends on which way you would like to go. I should have wet my paintbrush before I came in. Yeah, it's a bit too dry. I'm not too worried about clearing off the colour either when I dunk my paintbrush in right now because I'm doing all these very much the same similar colour. It doesn't really matter if they all come out clean the colour off my paintbrush or not between each one. Oh. Yeah. And there is our six little ones. They kind of look like avocados. Avocado there. Avocado here. Alright, and then let's do another colour combo. I think we could do a grey and a purple maybe. Let's try that out for size. So let's put our purple in the centre, I reckon. And then let's come around and do it. And this is going to link to like, you know, the realistic greys of turtles, I think. No, there's many, many turtle species. I'm mostly brown, actually. I don't know. I should do more research. And let's come up and do this one up here now. Remembering not to touch yeah, um, wet ones, although my wet sections are already dry. 
because it's very hot here. It's summer. It's a heat wave. But just coming in and we're making sure the bits that we're drawing aren't going to be touching either. Uh, does anyone have any questions at this very point in time? I can't answer questions as a girl, I promise. Totally. Uh, I'm to that part. So there is our panels, and because these two colors are quite, I would call them a little bit darker than the other ones. Um. A bit more opponent, I don't know how you would say it. I've left a bit of a gap here so they don't get overly so then they, they don't drain out of that green. So we're just gonna come in, dab it on our paper towel, and then go around first in our grey and get that purple in there. Okay, number one done. Let's go and do number two. Got the dab on the paper towel, so it's a bit liquidy. You can kind of tell that I am running a bit of a gauntlet here, so I'm just going to remove some of that water by flicking it up into my paintbrush and then move it over to here. Um, we moved it over to here just because it was like a natural movement. It didn't shake the paintbrush too much and it was also close. Just good so we didn't get any drippies. Let's come and do a little bit of it over here as well. And then the next one. And if you're afraid that your colors has you want your center color has overpowered your outside color, like this purple kind of little bit did, what you can come and do is, is after you finish using the pencil for the time being, you can come in and with a wet paintbrush, go along the tip of it, and then just come in and put it. along the edge um, do you know nope I am the wrong person to ask my mum put her glasses oh, oh cool right. just coming in That's where we're up to now. So let's see. What other colour combination could we do? We could just do some plain blue ones maybe. Could do these ones here, these small ones. 
and some plain glue. I know that one there is not particularly small, but it's smaller than some of the other ones. Okay. So we do those ones. Hello, Mel. That's all right. I was running late to several things today, so you know, we can be late buddies together. what it is. Okay, and then we come in. Uh -oh. Just there we go. Now, we've got those ones done. And I only did that, I think, with one bunk into the tub. And then, where is our orange? We might do an orange. And a brown one. They're a bit close, but that might work. So, let's just come in. A little bit of orange in the center. These might be a little bit too close for us to see the difference, but you never know. It could be amazing. Never, never know. Just coming in. And then we uh, next colour in. So watercolours is just all about, well, especially with watercolour pencils, it's just about first laying down your pencil and doing it nice and softly. Softly, softly wins the race. And then going in. and adding the water so i think we might leave those two and do them two different colors because we only leave one not done and it might look a little bit odd you know what i'm saying like if we only leave one and we do one one color it might stand out a little bit too much it'll look like we forgot it which we did so what we're going to come and do is if we come and do these ones and then we'll do two with one pattern because once again we don't really want them to be touching so it's not like we could do this one here as well because by them not touching it does look a little bit more natural so come in and I started at the orange with those ones just coming in and adding that in there we go And then we are, and then don't come that one. And just spread it out. There we go. And now, looks pretty cool, I think. 
let's see. What colour do we want to do next? Maybe we could do a bit of yellow. And do some dark green in the centre. So we grab our dark green. We do it like a very large centre. Grab our dark green. Trying to stay within that green, brown slash grey tone. I know I added purple, but purple can act as grey, can it? Surely it can. Go. And then doing over here oh he's the gray right let's grab our paintbrush dunk it on my tail and then come in here and that green is going to overpower that yellow a little bit but it's still going to keep the brightness of the yellow on the edge which is kind of what we want well, it's what I'm looking for. Just for that green. It's a little bit, a little bit brighter on the edge. Oh, I forgot to dunk it. Very wet. There we go. It's a bit colourful our turtle. And then let's come in and colour in the gaps. I'm going to do this in this yellow so that it does really pop. And watercolour is mainly about having fun. Just about getting there, having fun. If you're not comfortable with drawing your own animal, I completely understand. Uh, animals are basic shapes, but sometimes they get a bit daunting. I had one of those daunting moments when I uh, was drawing a kookaburra. Um, several attempts, two snack breaks, and a few hours later we had him. But uh, yeah, he stumped me. I will admit to that. Um, you can grab a bit of like a tracer of flying we can print out an image and use that to trace that's perfectly fine whatever works for you turtles are ovals and circles though so they're not overly comfort exactly nothing wrong with a bit of purple very good point Mel so and I'm sure Pam will agree with you so we dunk our paintbrush in the water and then we dab it on the tent on the Cloth nappy, took me a minute. I was going to call it a tea towel. It's not a tea towel. Right, here we go. It's coming in. And if you think your paintbrush is too wide, let's go and grab your smaller one. Uh, I want marks that you get quite a few different sizes. And we get one medium, one big, and one small. And then our fan brush. So it's a full pack. So all the sizes you need to work with realistically now before you do this bit where you're going in between all your little tiles you definitely want to make sure that each tile is dry I didn't really have to check that because our humidity and heat this that we're currently having but um, if you live in some of the southern states I don't know what your weather's currently doing I didn't get to see the news this morning uh, it was Noah's, Noah's year 12 retreat this week so we had to drop him off early so all hands on deck as they say
There we go. Um, there we go. So we've gone around our tiles and let's now do our legs and the rim of our turtle. I think I'm going to do the actual turtle legs and head to green, but what color do you reckon we should do the rim? I don't know what color we should do. Did you tell everyone we got a new office? Oh yeah, we moved the shop around yesterday. But you can't tell from the shop. You actually can. Oh no, you can. You can. There's, there's <laughs> stuff out the front. There's less chicken. Taking my slave. We're going to move the shop around next. The shop Come on, slave. Dad, we're on a live. You can't call her a slave. Okay. You might be done. Yeah, Dad. Child worker, we don't pay. Let's go. <gasps> oh, you're oh, in trouble. Dear. That's Choose what... outside. Choose outside. Go now. Here's your towel on my bed. Oh. Wet towel. Oh. <laughs> you don't pay. <laughs> you are fed. I educate you. Clothed. Has shoes. More Barbies than you can count. She's also got mine and yours. Focus on the details. I had so much humidity, it was on my floor, on my tiles, right throughout the house. Never had that. It was 80% at 5.30 today when we left work. Oh. It's just a little bit ridiculous. Oh, like, honestly. And then, so we've got our turtle little arms and legs drawn in now. And we're just going to wet those and paint them in. Have we come up with a colour for the rim yet? I'm thinking maybe orange, but that might be just me. We could go with a purple. We've got mostly the rim stick. 50-50. Running in that water, and then ta da! Look at our turtle, he looks so cute. Now, hey, mum, can you check if the black mop mark watercolor pencil is still in the tub? Because I don't have it here, I just realized. And mum, our mum, lovely mum's looking for that one. Let's come in. Oh, thank you. Um, not by the looks of it, but there is a black pencil I could use in there. Um, let's do the rim. Yeah, it, oh, it looks pretty cool. It's a 
purple, orange, fresh strawberries and milk. No, we don't do strawberries and milk. No. No. When? I didn't spew. Not mango. Sorry, people. We had a bit of a prelude there, or an interlude, or whatever. Interlude, interlude not a prelude. Three <laughs> means before. Sorry. Um, interlude. Let's do purple. I know. Amelia and can't have fruit or chocolate with milk. Things don't go well. But she always seems to call Dad on Monday nights, or nearly always, to give her something that she shouldn't have with milk. And because I share a ring with Amelia, I'm the one who mostly deals with it. And I would like to say a no. A no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because, no. yeah, no. Not tonight. There we go. So we've covered in our lovely turtle nice and softly. Our lovely turtle's rim. Dab. If you are doing this with paper towel, I suggest you have the roll there because you don't know how much you're going to use. We use about a roll per 30 kids. Um when we teach daycare classes and kids' classes. There we go. Right. We are going to do his eyes so that he doesn't look soulless, but don't worry. They're coming. So right now he does look a teensy bit soulless. Let's just... I've got these. It's just a normal black colouring in pencil that we're going to use. I'm just trying to find a sharp one. Because I don't know where the sharpener is in our house. So, you know... I'm just going to grab out a few and hopefully one of them will be sharp enough to use. And that's a blue. I could use a blue colouring in pencil. And we're using black so it doesn't mesh with our water. Or that merge with it too much. So we kind of come in and colour our eyes in black. 
It's more of a grey. Let's try another black. Okay. It's muted. No, not sharpened on that. Ah, there we go. I found it. A good black coloring in pencil. Haha. Right. And now what we're going to come do is, is anywhere where we've got a lead pencil line, we're just going to come in and go over it with our black pencil. Just this just needs up if you've got any edges that you accidentally went over because you forgot to dab your paintbrush on that one tile or three in my case makes it look a bit more polished if you want it to look polished I'm not too fancy about that um, we all know a bit rough around the edges Well, you add water to the watercolour and then you would put it into the modelling paste. So you could do it on like a piece of plastic and then add. You could technically shave the watercolour pencil into the modelling paste and it should react technically, but I don't know how well it would. Like, you know how you get your scissors and you just shave the lead bit, not the wood bit? I don't know how well it would go, though. Like, chemistry-wise, it would work practically... Fifty-fifty. Uh, Oh. And the mosquitoes have returned. Just a trillion. several trillion. Right, here we go. I have a note for being late somewhere. <laughs> They're like Karen. It's all good. Okay. There we go, and now let's come and do the outside of our turtle. My black pencil is starting to lose sharpness, so I am having to do it a few times in each spot. But I do not know where the sharpener is, or even if it's home. So. We're gonna live. That's what we've got. Okay. 
Mm. Well, guess total water color thing tonight. Mm. Well, <laughs> so you guess is a little bit correct. It's not because mum posted it in the uh, create a family group, was it? Because we were chatting three minutes before I got on tonight. Okay. And there we have it. Our watercolor turtle is complete. He's nice, he's simple, he's light and bright. I know I said that I was going to do him a bit traditional, like suggested. He is, he's got mostly green on him, I think. Um, but yes, very cute. So as you can see, watercolors are quite easy and fun. And that is completely dry now. Like we could shut that. Anything. It's all good. Look at that. Fast drying. Super fun activity. And yeah. So I'll hold him still so you can see him, hey? Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, and yeah, we're having... A buttload of fun. So this week we are live in multiple places tomorrow and on Wednesday night because it is Scrap Box Week, which means we're not in any subscription group. The video will be posted in there, uh, but we'll be mostly in the Creative Family group on the main Facebook page and on our YouTube channels during the week. So thank you all for coming. Um, also, heads up, there is the new retreat out, and for anyone who is doing the Nautical Dreams retreat, there were extras put up. Your retreats were supposed to go out today, but Australia Post system was down, so they're going out tomorrow. Um, so um, I guess like there's one last chance, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how far along we are. I was working, had a haircut, had an appointment. Anyway, today was very busy. So thank you all for coming, and uh, we will see you all during the week. Stay safe, and yeah, have an amazing week. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this letter, thank you. Bye.